Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look how we can run multiple futures in parallel and how we and finally how we can get the aggregate result. So when we need to execute multiple futures in parallel, we usually want to wait for the all of them to execute and then process their combined results. So here when we talk about the futures objects then basically here I am talking about the uh, object of computable future object which is the part of Java 8 so let's create a some computable future object and here computable object computable future has a method is called supply async which takes supplier and as an argument so here I'm going to apply this is here I'm going to define supplier as a lambda expression so this is going to return India and this is our first future object let's say future one sorry let's say this is future one object and similarly we are going to create three future future object so future two for sake of simplicity I have created only three future objects but you can create n number of uh, future object like this so India is beautiful country okay now I want to get the result of uh, I want to execute basically first of all all these three uh, future object so so uh, computable future uh, has a method is called it's a static method uh, that method is called all of and which takes you can see uh, where arg and where arg is nothing but that this is the object of uh, completable future so here we can pass the uh, completable object or future object with comma separated right so this I'm going to pass all three completable future object and this is if you look into the return type of this method then this is going to return a void so this will not return you any uh, so this is three if you look into the return type of this then this will gonna return you null itself so this is not going to return you get method throws exception so let's declare it so if i run it then this is gonna return you null itself but of course you can check this com uh, this future object is done or not its computation is done or not so we have a method is called is done and of course we can check all these three features is done or features is done or not so two and three and if I run saying all are true means all computations of all future object is done but of course this uh, basically all of method helps you to execute I mean more than one feature at a time feature object at a time but this will not give you the combined result right so all of static method allows you to wait for complete completion of all of the futures provided as where right uh, you can just you have noticed that uh, return type of all of is a a completable void the limitation of this method is that it does not return the combined results of all future feature futures instead you have to manually get results from the futures right so if you want to get results from the futures so that you of course you can get so we have a get method and so this will get results from the first future object right this will not give you the combined results right so this will give you the result from the first object itself right similarly you can get results from the second object something like that right so 
but if you want to get the combined result of all those all three future object right then how we can do that so fortunately uh, computable future join method and java 8 stream api makes it simple so let's how we can achieve this so we have a stream class in java 8 stream and we have a method is called off and sorry stream and method is called sorry off so the, there is two overloaded method of and I'm looking for the second which accepts a var arg as the argument so here of course we can pass all three future objects comma separated because this method accepts var arg as an argument right now we can call map method on it if you see map method then that accepts function as an argument right and here uh, you can see that is the generic saying that question mark super uh, completable future so here we can pass any future complete completable future method so let's call a method is called join method so that we can call like this this is method reference in java 8 so i hope you are aware about it now uh, we can call collect method right so in the stream we have a collect method so and we have a utility class is called collectors and collectors has a method is called joining so you can call joining so i'm looking for there is overload method of joining so i'm looking for second method there we can pass the delimiters so delimiter i'm going to pass a space so what will happen this will execute all three future objects and that will combine with a space result of this all three future objects will be separated with a space that's the thing now we get the results let's say this variable is result itself and let's print this result okay if i run this program then see i got the result of all this is the i mean combined result of all uh, future objects right so so just you have seen uh, the completable future join method is similar to the get method but it throws an unchecked exception in case the future does not com complete normally this make this makes it possible to use it as a method a reference in the stream uh, dot map class, map method right so here we, can, we have a uh, past join method as a uh, method reference right that's the feature of which has been added in jdk 1.8 so i hope you enjoyed learning this video uh, if you like this video then please do provide comments below to the video and if you have any query then of course you can post those query as well and i will try my best to answer those queries as well this code i'm going to upload on the github so that uh, you can download and run on your local machine so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video